Okay, this is seventh grade. We're graphing some equations. Um, we're going to rem remember this is your formula y equals mx plus b. And as long as you remember that formula, you should know that the number beside x is always your slope. Your b, the number that where your b is, is always your y intercept. And it's not zero all the time. It can be any number on the graph. It's where your line crosses the y-axis. Okay. Um, on your homework, it was number four. Let's look at our formula, y equals x minus 2. So from just telling you with our formula, I can tell you it's understood that there is an imaginary 1 here, 1x. One so my slope equals 1. And my y-intercept equals negative 2. But you have to graph it. And I've reminded you all to make your, your table chart out to help graph it. Better to graph it, I mean to plot them out, than to guess in your head. If you mess up, we don't know where you messed up at. So let's do negative 1, 0, 1. That's my favorite. <clears throat> this way we can have our plots and then you can graph. So I'm going to substitute negative 1 in for x. And so negative 1 minus 2, remember your rules of integers, comes to negative 3. So when x is negative 1, y is negative 3. If I substitute 0 in here for x's, 0 minus 2 would be minus 2. This is your y-intercept, 0, negative 2. Okay? And isn't that what we decided up here? So it just kind of proved that this is your y-intercept. Anytime you have your y-intercept, it's going to be a 0 for x, um, x, and this will be your y-intercept. Okay? Always, always, always. So if I sub 1 in for x, minus 2, you get a negative 1. Okay? If I have two negatives and I put a positive in there, I now only have a negative 1. These are integer rules that we've been over. You should know them. So when x is 1, y is a negative 1. So you can plot those out on your paper. <clears throat> Number five. Y equals negative three X. Okay, so back where our formula tells me is the number beside my X is my slope. But you're like, well, there's no B. There's no B. But what if I did this? When it's zero, I don't really have. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Sorry. I just thought of something else. That I wasn't recording, but I am. Huh? Three minutes on. Okay. Um, just because there's a zero there, we don't have to put the zero every time. But you can put it there if you need to see it in your formula. So your y-intercept equals 0. So make your table. x, negative 3x, is your y. And you'll have your x and your y to plot. Again, negative 1, 0, 1. Those are my favorites. So sub in x for x, so 3x times negative 1. A negative times a negative becomes a positive, so that would be a positive 3. So you have negative 1, 3. Substitute negative 3x for 0 for x. Negative 3 times 0 is 0. This would be your y-intercept. 0, 0. It's going through the origin. 
negative 3 times 1. Negative 3 times 1 is a negative 3. So it's 1, negative 3. And you can graph that on your paper. Okay, let's look at number 6. Y equals one, oh, negative one now, minus three. So again, you're looking at your formula. Y equals mx plus b. This is a slope. This is a y-intercept. So there's my slope your y-intercept. Okay, now let's make your table. x, negative one-half x minus three will give you your y. And you'll have your x and your y. So negative one is your one. So negative one-half times a negative one minus three so if I times negative one half times one, I'm still going to get half, but it's going to be a positive because two negatives multiplied make a positive. So this is a positive one half minus three. So if you have negative one half, oh sorry, positive one half minus three, turn that into a fraction because we're subtracting fractions. So one half, I forgot to turn this one into the common denominator, times two times two will give me six. So now then one minus six is negative five over two, which is improper. So that turns into a negative two and one half. So and they can do it in decimal form. So your x is negative 1, your y would be negative 3.5. If I substitute in 0 and then negative 3, negative 1 half times 0 is 0, so then I'm left with negative 3. 0, negative 3. If I substitute 1 in, it's going to be a negative one half minus three. Negative one half minus three. Put it over your one because we have to do fractions now. So negative one half minus, we have to change this. That would be a two. And that's a six. So now I have a negative one and a negative six becomes a negative seven over 2, which is improper, and we can change that to the, some of you might just be happy doing this, so I'm going to just go ahead and show you. Put your negative sign up there. 2 can go into 7 3 times. 1 left over, so you have 3, negative 3, and 1 half. So, it would be negative 3.5. So, 1, negative 3.5. Now you need to graph it. Let's look at um, let's look at number nine. We have y equals negative three fourths x. Now then, again, what was our formula? Y equals m x plus b. M is your slope, and B is your y-intercept. But again, you're looking over here, and you're like, I don't see a B. Well, if I did that, now you would see your B. You would see your y-intercept. This line is going to go through the origin. Your y-intercept is 0. 
your slope is negative 3 fourths. So let's graph it. Here's your x. We have negative 3 fourths x is going to equal your y to give you your x and your y to graph. It's very important that you show your work and make your tables. This is going to help you so much. So again, I like negative 1, 0, and 1. So if I do negative 3 fourths times negative 1, a negative times a negative becomes a positive 3 fourths. And I can write that in decimal form to be a Um, negative 3 fourths times 0 is 0. So I told you it went to the origin. It's 0, 0. Um, negative 3 fourths times 1 becomes a, a negative 3 fourths. Negative times a positive is a negative. So you have 1 point 75. Negative. So it's really not that complicated if you understand the formula. And I can tell right off what my slope and y intercept is. But in order to graph it, you have to find some plots, some ordered pairs that you can plot on the graph. Okay, I hope this, this helped. Sorry the video was kind of short last night.